Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1082. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1082 to 1083, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have some numbers, and we need to add every other column. So longhand, it would go something like this. Now, we could type a comma and get to the next number argument. Or you can hold Control and highlight non-contiguous ranges. So that's no problem. That's the quick and dirty way to get every other column. But what if we had many columns and we wanted a more automated formula? Now, if we look at the data set, there's seven columns here. And what we want is we want the odd ones, first, third, fifth, etc. So we're actually going to build an array of the numbers 1 to 7. And I'm going to start with the column function. Column. Now, this is expecting a single cell like this, but we're going to, and it would report in the number 1, but I'm going to highlight columns A to G. And if I highlight this, you could see that it, and hit the F9 key, you could see it gives me an array of 1 to 7. I'm not going to leave it that way, because if I insert a column, then I would get 2, 3, all the way to 8. And then our formula would be off. So I'm actually going to take that array and subtract column again, if only I could type column, but of the first one. Now, what's 1 minus 1? If I highlight this whole thing, it'll give me 0. That's off by 1, Control-Z. So I'm going to add 1 back in. So this is a nice, robust way to get the numbers 1 to 7, F9. If I insert columns or change structural things, that will work. Now, we'll look at an alternative over here if you're never going to insert a column over here in just a moment. Now we want to take that array and divide it by a certain number. Now, the mod function gives me the remainder. So if I take 1 to 7 and divide it by 2, well, the remainder will be 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now, this is. Just like this was a function argument array operation, this also is a function argument array operation. We're given a bunch of numbers into here. So mod, of course, will spit out one answer for each number, F9. There's our series of 1 to zeros. That's going to be true, false, true, false, Control Z. Now I'm going to simply take this whole range here. Notice there are different dimensions, right? The mod, column, et cetera, is just giving me, in essence, uh, one row by seven columns. But this is 11 rows by seven columns. So we can't use some product directly, but we can just simply multiply F9. Look at that. We have our numbers. There's a 0 every time there's a number in one of the columns we don't want, Control Z. Now. I'm going to put this inside of some product because I don't want to use sum and Control Shift Enter. I'm just not using the comma, comma, comma to multiply arrays. I'm just using multiplication symbol. Close parentheses and Enter. Now, I could simply come over here. And if I didn't want to do that, I could take some product, comma, and then mod of just the column of this. Remember, column gives me 1 to 7 comma 2, close parentheses, close parentheses. Notice, what did I do there? I forgot that uh, you cannot use the array array when there are different dimensions, but that will work right there. Ah, all three of these are giving us the same answer, except for if we come over, as we so often do, and insert a column, of course, this is not going to work because the column is reporting 2 to 8. Now, if you're never going to insert a column, then this certainly is uh, shorter in typing out than this one. Now, let's look at another potential problem. What if we had a word here? Whatever it might be, these are not going to work. Why? Because we're multiplying with the multiplication symbol. You cannot take a word times the number. There's a word in here that's going to be multiplied by one of the ones or zeros from over here. But why is the sum function working? Because the sum function totally is programmed to ignore text. Well, guess what? So is sum product if you do array, array, meaning the comma and let it multiply. Well, the problem, and I should have showed you this before we did this, if I Control Z to just bring that back, if I do comma here. Actually, we saw this over here. The two dimensions 
are different, so it's just not going to work. Control Z. I have to come over and retype this. All right, so what are we going to do if we did have text? Well, then we need to somehow convert this little bit here to the same dimensions as the whole table. And we can do that with the mamult. So I'm going to copy this. Come down here, Control-V. And let's just highlight this and look at the array syntax, F9. Curly brackets house the array. Commas mean column. So it means we're, we're going from column to column. And I need to now have this not one row by seven columns, but 11 by seven. We can Control-Z. We can use the mamult. Mamult does matrix algebra. It will multiply two arrays, but there are some special rules for how, when you can multiply mat uh, using the mamult. I'm going to take the row of all of these. Now clo close parentheses. If I were just to highlight just this little bit right here and hit F9, that's not going to do us any good because it gives us a bunch of numbers, but we can raise it to the 0 caret 0, and that will give us a column filled with rows of the number 1, F9. See array syntax, curly brackets, semicolon, semicolon, semicolon. It means go down each row. Now, Control Z, we in essence, if I type a comma, we have two arrays we're multiplying. And it's important that we put the row in as the first array, because mamult won't work unless the row and column. We've got to look at the row and column of the first. How many rows are there? Well, there's 11 and one column. So the first one has one column, and the second one has one row and seven columns. The columns of the first have to equal the rows of the second, and they do. So if I close parentheses, highlight this in F9, there is the array of ones and zeros that will work to multiply times the full array. Now we put this inside of some product. Array 1, bloop, comma. And now, because we're using comma to multiply, some product will flat out ignore that text. All right, uh, let's put this back to 5 or whatever it was there. I don't remember. So there is a bunch. The longhand way, the uh, method if you're never going to have text and you might insert a column, never going to have text and you're not going to insert a column, and maybe you're going to insert a column and maybe you're going to have text. All right, we'll see you next video.